welcome to economics classes we are going to start with the new chapter from indian economic development chapter 5 human capital formation in india in this chapter mainly you are going to learn about what is human capital and what is human capital formation what are the sources of human capital human capital and human development and about present situation of human capital formation in india education sector in india in the sense development in education and enrollment of the students in a different level of educations also future prospects in the country manava bandavala nirmana manava bandavala antandre yen ili introduction part ali if you observe the difference between the human being and an animal you can find the major difference in the case of human beings one of the major factors we can find in human beings what is that major factor human being can store the knowledge and transmit the knowledge because of this important factor we enable the different skills and abilities how we are gaining this skill and abilities by getting educations right every human being passing their knowledge through the songs and elaborate lectures and the other mode of sharing knowledge through this sharing the knowledge he has passing his knowledge to the upcoming generations and nowadays if a person is having skill and education if he is highly qualified then he can fetch more income if a person without education and skills he may not be able to earn the income how much the skilled skilled person earns hence the contribution of the educated and skilled person to the economic growth is more than the unskilled person education gives higher earning capacity to the people and it gives social status for the people and also it provides greater knowledge to understand the changing society and its needs so if the country enhances the education facility in the country it accelerates the national income and also it accelerates the development process of the country so let us understand what is human capital and what is human capital formation illi manava bandavala antandre ದೇಶದಲ್ಲಿ ಲಭ್ಯ ಇರೋ ಮಾನವ ಸಂಪನ್ಮೂಲಗಳನ್ನು ನಾವು ಬಳಸಿಕೊಂಡು ಅಂದರೆ ಆ ಮಾನವ ಸಂಪನ್ಮೂಲಕ್ಕೆ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣ ಆರೋಗ್ಯ ಹಾಗೂ ತರಬೇತಿ ಮಾಹಿತಿ ಸೌಕರ್ಯಗಳಂತಹ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಸೌಕರ್ಯಗಳನ್ನು ಅವರಿಗೆ ಒದಗಿಸಿಕೊಟ್ಟು ಆ ಮಾನವ ಸಂಪನ್ಮೂಲಗಳನ್ನು ಉತ್ಪಾದನೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ಬಳಸಿಕೊಳ್ಳುವಂತಹ ಒಂದು ವ್ಯವಸ್ಥೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಮಾನವ ಬಂಡವಾಳಕ್ಕೆ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣವನ್ನು ಆರೋಗ್ಯವನ್ನು ಮತ್ತು ತರಬೇತಿಯನ್ನು ಹಾಗೂ ಕೌಶಲ್ಯಗಳನ್ನು ಅಭಿವೃದ್ಧಿಪಡಿಸುವ ಮೂಲಕ ಅವರನ್ನ ಉತ್ಪಾದನೆಗೆ ಯೋಗ್ಯರನ್ನಾಗಿ ಮಾಡುವುದಾಗಿದೆ ಉತ್ಪಾದನೆಗೆ ಯೋಗ್ಯರನ್ನಾಗಿ ಪರಿವರ್ತಿಸುವುದು ಇದರ ಪರಿಣಾಮವಾಗಿ ದೇಶದ ಆರ್ಥಿಕತೆ ಅಭಿವೃದ್ಧಿ ಹೊಂದಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಸಹಾಯಕವಾಗ್ತದೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಕ್ಯಾಪಿಟಲ್ ರೆಫರ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಸ್ಕಿಲ್ಸ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪೀರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರೊಸೆಸ್ ಬೈ ಅನ್ ಇಂಡಿವಿಜುವಲ್ ವ್ಯೂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೇರ್ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಫಾರ್ ಕಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ಅ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ the stock of knowledge and skills create economic value in generally human capital refers to the human beings with the skill and education or ability to perform better compared to the others he can contribute to the economy of the country then what is human capital formation human capital formation refers to the process of acquiring and increasing the number of skilled person and educated person and experienced person which is most essential for the economy of the country ili manava bandavala nirmana antandre hege manava bandavalavanna nirmisalagutade andre shikshanavanna aarogyavanna moolabhuta saukaryagalanna hagu tarabetiyanna neduva mulaka manava bandavala nirmanavanna maadalagutade ತರಬೇತಿಯನ್ನು ಹೊಂದಿದ ಅಥವಾ ಕೌಶಲ್ಯ 
ಕೌಶಲ್ಯವನ್ನು ರೂಢಿಸಿಕೊಂಡಂಥ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ದೇಶದ ಆರ್ಥಿಕತೆಗೆ ದೇಶದ ಆರ್ಥಿಕತೆಗೆ ಮುಖ್ಯವಾಗಿ ಕೊಡುಗೆಗಳನ್ನು ನೀಡಬಲ್ಲ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ವಿತ್ ಫುಲ್ ಆಫ್ ನ್ಯಾಚುರಲ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುಟಿಲೈಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಕನ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ರೋಡ್ಸ್ ರೈಲ್ವೆ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ಫುಲ್ ಇನ್ ಎನ್ ಎಕನಾಮಿ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ವಿತ್ ಫುಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ರಿಸೋರ್ಸಸ್ ಬೈ ಪ್ರೊವೈಡಿಂಗ್ ದಮ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಜುಕೇಷನ್ ಅದರ್ ಬೇಸಿಕ್ ಇನ್ಫ್ರಾಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಫೆಸಿಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟ್ರೈನಿಂಗ್ opportunities to the migration we can transfer it into the human capitals then you can easily find out the difference between the human resource and human capital person without skills and knowledge are just human resources if a person is person with the skill and education are considered as human capitals so by providing health and educations we can convert it into the human capital for example doctors engineers scientists professors all are considered as human capitals it means we need to invest on education and health and also for training then we can convert human resource into the human capitals the sources of human capital manava bandavada moolagalu yavu sources of human capital what are the sources then what are the sources of human capital mainly we can find these are the sources of human capital first one is investment in education and investment in health and on the job training and migration and the information these are the main sources of human capital formation first one investment in health if we made investment in the health how it affects how it gives additional value to the country's economy mainly why you people are spending money on education you are paying fees to the college this is a kind of investment why because in future you can earn this spending money on education is similar to the spending money on the capital goods by the companies aim to spend money is to increase future profits likewise individuals spend money on education generally it is kind of investment with the objective of earning profit in future investment on education promotes the economic growth how it promotes the econo- how it promotes the economic growth it helps increasing productivity of the human resource and it helps in creating more productive force and also it increases the skills and also education helps to get larger opportunity to get jobs widespread employment opportunities are available for qualified people by this employment opportunities it is helpful for the income generation even the karanadagi pratiyobba vyaktiyu shikshanada mele hudikeyanu maartane adrindagi ಒಳ್ಳೆಯ ಶಿಕ್ಷಣವನ್ನು ಪಡೆದ ವ್ಯಕ್ತಿ ಉತ್ತಮ ಜ್ಞಾನವಂತನಾಗಿ ತನ್ನ ಕೌಶಲ್ಯಗಳನ್ನು ವೃದ್ಧಿಸಿಕೊಂಡು ಸಮಾಜದಲ್ಲಿ ಗೌರವವನ್ನು ಪಡೆಯುವುದರೊಂದಿಗೆ ಉತ್ತಮ ಹುದ್ದೆಗಳಿಗೆ ನೇಮಕವಾಗಬಹುದು ಹಾಗೆ ಉತ್ತಮ ಹುದ್ದೆಗಳಿಂದ ಅವನ ಆರ್ಥಿಕ ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿ ಸುಧಾರಣೆ ಆಗಬಹುದು ಹಾಗೆ ಸುಧಾರಿತ ಆರ್ಥಿಕ ಪರಿಸ್ಥಿತಿಯು ದೇಶದ ಆರ್ಥಿಕತೆಯ ಅಭಿವೃದ್ಧಿಗೆ ಸಹಾಯಕವಾಗುತ್ತದೆ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ investment in health or expenditure on health health is very important aspect for each and every human being if a person with good health he can work otherwise it is difficult to work adrindagi aarogyada mele kharchu madodu kuda ondu bahumukhyavadanta manava bandavala nirmanada moolavagide so expenditure on preventive medicines vaccines atra nam en karithivo a preventive medicines again curative medicines and also spreading knowledge about health and hygiene and about spread of diseases now in this situation you can find many medias spreading knowledge about how the corona virus spreads and what are the precautions we should take all this will be again and again repeated by the many medias why because to create awareness about the diseases 
provision of clean drinking waters and providing good sanitation facilities are the examples of health expenditures or investment in health health expenditure directly increases the supply of healthy labors and also it can be a source of human capital formation and next one is on job training many companies and institutions they spent money on different training programs how these training programs helps the employees to perform better by providing training companies and institutions they are making their employees more skilled and upgraded by this on job trainings and off campus trainings helps the labors or workers to perform better better performance increases the productivity of the institutions and also it helps in earning better incomes likewise it is also a kind of source of human capital formation next one is expenditure on migration and information expenditure on migration and information if a people want to migrate from their native place to other areas in search of better job opportunities and enhanced salaries for example technically qualified people like doctor engineers they migrating from the village area to urban areas why because to get greater opportunity of jobs and also greater salaries so why here also you can observe many doctors and engineers they move from rural areas to metropolitan cities like bangalore mumbai pune why because to get higher the salaries here both the internal and external migrations involves cost of transport and expenditures and higher the cost of living you can observe staying in rural areas it is of less cost and if you are staying in urban areas metropolitan cities then cost of living increases but if they spent on this expenditures if they spent for traveling and cost of living then they can earn better incomes so this is also a kind of human capital formation and information expenditure on information what type of informations we need information about educations which course i have to choose after my matriculation and after my puc level which course i have to choose and which course is having better job opportunities and also different companies offers different jobs different companies offering different salaries about all these things we should get information people have to spend money on the information of job markets education and health for example different companies offering different types of jobs this different types of jobs are having different types of salaries and allowances if you get information about all these jobs and the salaries in the market then only we can choose which gives more profit if you spend money on to get information about the job opportunities and about job market and also about the educational about spend money on educational institutions to get information about whether that institution is providing employable education or not this informations are very much necessary to get better opportunities so this type of investment or this type of expenditure also got as the sources of human capital formation this all about today and in next class we will continue with the human capital and economic growth thank you